A mechanic in Detroit just lost his shop license after using a fuel cleaner that destroyed 47 customer engines in three months. Here's what the fuel additive industry doesn't want published. 93% of injector cleaners sold in North America fail the SAEJ2841 deposit control standard. That bottle promising smoother performance? It might be accelerating the exact problem it claims to fix. Six products are scientifically proven underperformers, and three actually deliver measurable results. Let's decode the chemistry your engine depends on. Number six, kerosene-based cleaners. Open a budget fuel cleaner and catch that sharp petroleum smell? That's kerosene, a hydrocarbon with a vapor pressure 40% lower than gasoline. Manufacturers use it because it's cheap and mixes easily. But here's the problem. Kerosene's distillation range of 150 to 300 degrees Celsius doesn't overlap with the temperatures where injector coking occurs above 350 degrees Celsius. According to API Standard 1509, kerosene lacks the aromatic solvency needed to dissolve polymerized fuel deposits. Instead of cleaning, it creates incomplete combustion in modern direct injection engines, leaving more carbon on intake valves. The octane claim in competitor videos? Chemically misleading, kerosene's roughly 40 octane rating gets diluted to negligible effect at typical 1 to 1,000 ratios. The real damage, poor atomization and misfires. But if kerosene fails because it's too weak, the next cleaner fails because it brings a completely different chemistry that doesn't belong in gasoline systems. Number five, Abro Fuel Injector Cleaner. Abro's active ingredient, number two gas oil, which is literally diesel fuel, not basically, has a cetane number of 40 to 55, designed for compression ignition. Gasoline engines rely on octane of 87 to 93, which measures resistance to auto ignition. Mixing these is like putting synthetic 5W30 into a gearbox. Wrong viscosity, wrong job. Diesel's higher kinematic viscosity of 2.5 to 3.2 centistokes at 40 degrees Celsius versus gasoline's 0.4 to 0.6 centistokes means it doesn't atomize properly in gasoline injectors. SAE J2715 testing shows diesel-based cleaners knock deposits loose without dissolving them, clogging fuel filters within 500 miles. The result? Injector flow asymmetry, where one cylinder runs rich, another lean. Your engine feels smoother temporarily because diesel lubricates, but you're trading lubrication for actual cleaning. The varnish removal claim? Unsubstantiated by independent ASTMD 5967 deposit testing. Now, ABRO at least attempts to clean, even if it uses the wrong chemistry. But the next product on our list was never even designed to be a fuel injector cleaner in the first place. Number four, Marvel Mystery Oil as primary cleaner. For 97 years, Marvel Mystery Oil has been the duct tape of the automotive world. Useful, but not for everything. Its formula is primarily mineral oil with aromatic solvents like xylene or toluene, designed for boundary lubrication in upper cylinders. That's why older mechanics swear by it for sticky lifters and dry cylinder walls. But cleaning fuel injectors? MMO's detergent package lacks polyetheramines, the only compound proven in ASTMD 6201 tests to remove hard carbon. Think of it this way. MMO is a penetrating oil, not a degreaser. It excels at preventing future deposits by coating surfaces with a protective film. But if your injectors are already showing 15% flow reduction testable via Bosch EPS 815 flow bench, MMO won't restore them. Use it as maintenance, not medicine. Marvel at least admits it's a multi-purpose treatment. The next product has been marketed for decades as a cure-all, and that's exactly where the problem begins. Number three, Seafoam Motor Treatment. Since 1942, Seafoam has been the garage shelf staple, and for good reason, it works brilliantly on varnish and gum in fuel systems. The formula is pale oil, which is a refined naphtha, IPA, or isopropyl alcohol, and proprietary additives. Naphtha is excellent at dissolving soft, sticky deposits, the kind you get from old gas sitting in a lawnmower over winter. But here's the chemistry gap. Naphtha has low solvency power against polymerized olefins, the baked-on carbon inside direct injection engines. SAE Technical Paper 2019-01-0026 
confirms that alcohol naphtha blends score poorly on TOST MHT4 deposit tests compared to PA-based cleaners. Seafoam shines in two-stroke engines and carbureted systems where deposits are softer. For modern GDI engines, its maintenance grade, not restoration grade, won't hurt but won't perform miracles. At least Seafoam's gentle formula won't cause damage. The next cleaner is powerful enough to work, but that same power often creates more problems than it solves. Number two, Cataclean Fuel and Exhaust Cleaner. Cataclean brings legitimate aggression, xylene, acetone, and IPA in a petroleum solvent base. Acetone's dielectric constant of 20.7 makes it a powerful solvent for organic deposits. Paint thinner level strong. The issue isn't efficacy, it's collateral damage. Instead of chemically dissolving carbon, Cataclean's formula physically dislodges chunks, which then migrate downstream. Those fragments can foul oxygen sensors replacing one cost $150 to $300. Clog catalytic converter substrates reducing oxygen storage capacity by 40% in some cases and trigger P0420 codes. The irony? It's designed to clean cats, but liberated deposits often destroy them. Independent testing by Emission Analytics in 2021 shows Cataclean works best as a preventative treatment on engines with under 50,000 miles, not as a rescue product for neglected systems. Use it early, not late. Cataclean's problem is mechanical. It breaks chunks loose, but our number one worst cleaner creates chemical damage at the molecular level. Number one, alcohol. Heavy formulas, isopropyl alcohol, or IPA, is marketed as the budget mechanics cure-all. Absorbs water, dissolves gum, cheap as chips. But chemistry doesn't care about your budget. IPA has a dielectric constant of 18.3, which makes it great at dissolving polar compounds like water and salts, but terrible at attacking nonpolar carbon deposits like paraffins and olefins. Worse, alcohol is hygroscopic. It pulls moisture out of the air and into your fuel, creating the very problem it claims to fix. At concentrations above 10%, IPA attacks fluorolastomer seals and acetoplastic fuel components, causing brittleness and cracking. SAE J2027 compatibility testing shows alcohol swells nitrile rubber by up to 8%, leading to seal failure within 18 months. The lean-out effect? Real. Alcohol's oxygen content of 35% reduces stoichiometric air-fuel ratio, spiking combustion temperatures and risking pre-ignition. Cheap up front, expensive later. Now that we've cleared out the fakes, let's talk about the real ones. The next three cleaners are lab-tested, proven, and built on real chemistry. These are the only bottles that truly deserve a spot in your fuel tank. Starting with number three. Number three, Chevron Tecron Concentrate Plus. Tecron isn't just a brand, it's a polyethyramine or PA compound developed by Chevron in the 1980s and licensed to dozens of OEMs, including BMW, Honda, and Toyota for factory fills. The active ingredient, PEA, at 250 parts per million concentration, far exceeding the minimum 100 parts per million required by ASTMD 6201 deposit control standards. PEA works via Lewis acid-based chemistry breaking the ionic bonds between carbon and metal surfaces without mechanical abrasion. SAE Technical Paper, 2018-01-0533 Documents. Tecron Restoring Injector Flow rates to 98% of original after 3,000 miles of treatment. One 20-ounce bottle treats 20 gallons, delivering 12.5 parts per million PEA per gallon the concentration proven effective in GM Dexos 1 Gen 3 specifications. Safe for everything from carburetors to GDI engines, it's the Swiss army knife of cleaners. Use it every 3,000 miles or when fuel trim values exceed plus or minus 5%. Tecron is excellent for regular maintenance, but when you're dealing with severe carbon buildup from years of neglect, you need something even stronger. Number two, BG44, K Fuel System Cleaner. When professional mechanics face a 25% injector flow deficit on a Bosch EV 14 injector common in VW, Audi, and Ford, they reach for BG44K. Why? Because it contains the highest PEA concentration available over the counter, approximately 400 parts per million, validated by independent Intertech chemical analysis. 
BG's formula includes secondary detergents like polyisobutylene amines that target intake valve deposits specifically, critical for port-injected engines where fuel doesn't wash valves. Third-party testing by the University of Dayton Research Institute in 2019 showed BG 44K reduced TOST 33C deposits by 82%, the gold standard for thermal stability. One 11 ounce can treats 20 gallons and remains effective for 7,500 miles due to slow release chemistry. Cost, $35 to $45 per can. Worth it? Ask the Subaru EJ 25 owners who avoided $2,200 carbon cleaning services with a single treatment. This is remediation grade chemistry. BG 44K focuses purely on cleaning, but if you want cleaning plus performance gains in a single bottle, there's one cleaner that stands above the rest. Number one, Royal Purple Max Clean. Royal Purple Max Clean is the only cleaner that's simultaneously a detergent, octane booster, and fuel stabilizer. Three products in a metal can. The base is high concentration PEA, estimated at 300 parts per million, but Royal Purple adds methyl cyclopentadienyl manganese tricarbonyl, or MMT, an organometallic octane enhancer that increases RON by two to three points. SAE J2710 confirms MMT's anti-knock effectiveness without the lead aerotoxicity. The stabilizer component, hindered phenol antioxidants, the same chemistry used in tier three detergent gasolines, preventing oxidation and gum formation for up to 12 months in stored fuel. Each 20 ounce bottle treats 20 gallons and protects for 10,000 miles, the longest interval of any mainstream cleaner. Dyno testing by engineering, explained in 2022, measured a 4.3% horsepower increase in a carbon-fouled Mazda Miata after one tank. For enthusiasts running track days or towing heavy loads, this is the performance and protection choice. Now you know what engineers know and what marketers hide. Drop your car's make, model, and mileage in the comments, and I'll tell you which cleaner fits your engine. Share this with anyone losing MPG or fighting rough idle, because sometimes the difference between a clean engine and a $4,000 repair is just 10 bucks and 250 parts per million of PEA. And next, don't miss my video on 0W20 versus 5W30 oil. It's all connected.